You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you a super glitter sand art kit, which includes six sand projects. It's a CK activity for ages six plus. And look at that, it looks pretty cool. Almost looks like a rainbow of colors. So let's see what we have here. All right, this is a picture of everything you get. And it lists it right here, and it's a Creative Kids product, so let me read this here. It includes six bottles, four bags of sand, it looks like these are the colors, one bag of glitter, one cord, one design tool, one plastic funnel, and the instructions. And you see here it says, Less Mess Funnel. All right. Well, we have to figure this out. So when I come back, I'll have it all out of the box, and we'll get started. All right, here we go. Everything that was in the box. Let's start with the sand. You get a nice pink sand. Now this looks like it's got glitter in it. It's hard to tell in the plastic, but I think it does. You have blue, you have an orange, and you have a yellow. You've got your little funnel that you can use to fill. The cord that ties on the top if you want to hang one of your bottles. You've got your stylizing tool to make some patterns in the sand. And you have a bag of actual glitter in gold. Then in the bottles, you have your peace sign. Can you see the peace sign? Yes. Now this does, did not stand on its own. And you have what looks like a perfume bottle, right? Butterfly. There's a butterfly bottle. And the tops just screw right off and screw right back on. And then you have a horse, some kind of animal. Do, 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 do. And you have a triangle. Look at that. And then the squiggly bottle. Okay, so that's the shapes of the bottles you have, and that's everything that came in the kit. So when I come back, I'm going to get started. I am set to make my sand art. Now I've picked the butterfly and the horse-like creature. I'm going to save the other ones, mainly because I know my kids are going to want to do the rest of these. So I am going to pick a color. I've got some little bowls here to kind of hopefully hold them for me here. So let me do that, and then I'll cut a little corner off. On that one, and then I'll cut a little corner off of this one. Hopefully, I can get two in a bowl. This way, I'm set. So there are two. Let me move that there. Let me move in another one, and then I have the gold. Okay, nice little bowl. So it'll help too if you have something to hold your sand up. But I also have a my glass top on here, which I like to use. I've been using it more and more. Okay, all right, so here we go. Just be careful pulling all of that out. And let's get uh, let's get this one here. Now hopefully it doesn't fall over. I might need to support that with something. Let me move this out of the way. Get my funnel in the top. Okay, so I'll just be careful what I'm doing. I'll move this over here and I'll do some of the gold glitter. Let me just see. So basically, you want to pour in and do layers of sand. Here we go. So I'm going to try this first. And then I want some on the bottom of its other hoof. Hooves. 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 Hoof. Okay, let me tilt some of that over there. I should be able to do that now that I'm just kind of starting out. much now. What do you think? That's pretty close, isn't it? Here, I'll give you a, a better perspective here. Let's move some things out of the background. The bottles I'm not going to use in the string. And then I think I want to come in with another color. So let me do this here. I have my lights turned down too so you get a better look at everything. All right, paint. Might be harder to do the paint now in this particular way. Let me get this in here. Well, I just have a feeling I'm going to knock this over for whatever reason. Let's see if I can get pink just to go on that side for now. Okay, I want to right at the level point. A little bit more, although that's pretty good. Okay, now I just want to do this side, right at the leg point. 
Nice. Okay. It's working. Now I'm going to fill his body with blue. How about that? Some blue. Now I should just be able to pour it all the way across and it should just fill. It's like a sand timer, huh? How about I give you a top down look? It's kind of neat watching it pour down in. Watch, I'll show you. Camera adjustment. There we go. So I'm not done with my blue. I want to put more blue in, so I'm just filling it here. Look. There's my sand timer, see? Okay. I think I'm happy with the blue. Let me just hold it up this way so you can see, and then I'll tap it. Okay, not bad. You want to see it from the side again? I'll have to keep changing some angles here. I like it. How about some yellow? Close. You want it kind of tight so that you know you can move it around without the sand shifting. So let me fill up a little bit more. I'm gonna do his head in a different color if I can. Stopping there. All right, I think I've used every color. We'll go back to orange. Actually, you know what? I think I want to do blue. I think I want to get some gold glitter if I can. In. Oh, wait, I oh, almost forgot the funnel. See if we can get some gold just to sit on the top. I don't know why. I might try to push it towards his eye. Probably impossible. Ooh, there's going to be glitter everywhere. Gold. Okay. I'm going to get my tool. See if I can push it down in there. Close. Super close. There, he's got gold on the top. I can't get it in the right angle. It's a hard container probably to work with. Hmm. Well, I'm leaving it like that. Alright, next I'll just finish the blue. Let's see what we end up with. Ooh, it's like a golden streak. You hear the grittiness on the tabletop now. You hear that? Okay, I think we're close. Just a little bit to fill them up. Don't fall. Oh, I'm shaking. Look at that. All right, I'll tap that down just a little. And get a little more in there. There, that's where I want it. Don't worry about it. You can just clean up and put the lid back on that. And then I think we're good to go. OK. 
Okay. How's that? Here's my horse. That side looks cool too. I think I like it better without the gold. Do, 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 do. What do you think? Gold glitter streaked by his eye? Whoosh. I should have just went just on the top of the gold. All right, that one's pretty cool. Let's set that one aside. I do think I want to clean up and wipe this up before I start the next one, so I'll be right back. All right, I decided to switch to this bottle because I think I can do some more with my little stick. So let me get this off. And let me just start with, uh, well, I started with orange last time. Let me do the pink. I will do the pink. And I'm probably going to have glitter all over me and on the table and on my hands for weeks to come. There is layer number one. Oh, you want to see it going into the bottle? That's better. And I think I'm going to leave it in that pyramid shape. So I'm going to wait till the pink covers the bottom edge. Okay, there. All right. There we go. And then I'm going to go with blue. And I'm going to leave it in that pyramid shape. Now I can go smaller layer by smaller layer. Get these all set here, leaned up. Yellow. Orange. And I'm not gonna stay consistent with my colors, okay? I just wanna... So now I'm kinda pouring at the left and the right of the funnel. See that? And it kinda... Fills both sides, and back to pink. Left side of the funnel, right side of the funnel. And okay, I said I wasn't gonna stay in my colors, and I'm not, I'm gonna go to yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna push down, it's a good pushing spot. Right in front, here we go. Don't fall. So I'll go down this side. And then down this side. Ooh. There you go. All right, not bad. Now some orange. And pink. Top it off with the blue. Pretty close. I think I'm gonna have to tap this one just a little. I think we're set though. They're just a little in the front. I think that did it. Some will fall out. There. Okay. My projects are done. It's gritty. Ew, on the glass. Ew, let me tie that one. Put this through here. Let's see. Is it easy to do? Not easy to do. Just cut the end on a little angle. See if that makes it easier to thread. There, now I can hang it. Let me tie that off. That one's good. I'll clean up, come back, and we'll take a closer look at both of them. So, I am all set. Now it's hanging. I will be right back. Well, there you go, my two art pieces. I have my horse with this golden strip. And then, now this side will be different on the other side. So you basically have two different canvases there, depending on how you decorate it with the little tool. 
Well, I guess I always ask, which do you like better? Would you, do you like the pony or do you like this one, the little pyramid? Let me know in the comments. And that was the super glitter sand art kit. Now the sand didn't have a lot of glitter in it, but I bet you can add glitter. I was looking at it closer. There's the box. I'll show you one more time. There you go. And that's how my project turned out. I would say. Okay. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments which one you like better. And if you do sand art, oh, it's hard to see now next to the box. Isn't it? They kind of blend in with the colors. Let us know some of your techniques. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.